Sanabria and La Carballeda in five minutes. This large region is on the northern occidental angle of Zamora province. It borders Leon in the north, the region of Los Bayes in the east, Aliste and Portugal in the south, and Orense in the west. The whole region has its origins in the Hercynian formation of the primary age. At the end of this age, and during the secondary age, the mountain range was devastated by the erosion becoming a plain, due to the alpine formation. During the tertiary age, some deformations and some fractures were produced. Originating among others, the Sierra Segundera and Cabrera. The glaciations of the Quaternary Age acted on this landscape. The climb in Sanabria is wet. Climb of mountain. With abundant rainfall and long and cold winters, with deep snows and short and fresh summers. The rainfall decreases depending on the height and from west to east. The big fluvial artery of the region is the river Terra, which nourishes the Sanabria's lake with its volume of water and irrigates the region from west to east. Its waters and its tributaries, the Cardena and the Segundera, are profited for the production of electrical energy being stored in dams. Among them the most important ones are Cerdanilla, Valparaíso and Agavanzal. Sanabria stands out because of having the biggest glacial lake in Spain. More than three kilometers long, one and a half kilometers wide and 50 meters deep. The vegetation is conditioned by the altitude, the sun stroke, the ground and the quantity of humidity. Thus in the high mountain, bushes and pasture predominate. In the prairies a little drained, rushes and peat bogs with some meters of depth appear there. In the average mountain the oak wood predominates with undergrowth of ferns and heathers. Any well represented species especially around the villages, is the chestnut tree. But in some specific places, there are some woods of holly bushes, service trees and yews. Finally, on the riversides, sometimes forming Galleria forest, alders, ash trees, black poplars, birches, willows, and service trees grow. All the villages are adapted to the relief and are situated in prairies or beds of valley, keeping the flat zones for the crop. The house from Sanabria has got a few doorways and some corridors or galleries upstairs. You can accede to the house by the outside stairs which get to the corridor. In La Carvalleda, the houses are a transition between Sanabrias and Los Valles. Traditional constructions related to the agro-pastoral activity of the inhabitants of the zone are the farmyards to guard the livestock, the fences called cortinas to close prairies and vegetable gardens. The traps called cortiellos to hunt the wolf. The wax cellars to melt this one. And the mills to transform the cereal in flour. For the life in community, some fountains were built. 
to provide the necessary water to the villagers. Community ovens where the bread is baked on. Forges where the tools are recomposed. And cross stations, symbol of faith and protection of the community.